Hey guys, Jim here from Carolina Outdoors. I want to do just a short video for you here today. Uh, we've got in our fall order of the original clear board from BJ Ayers up in Virginia. So we're going to be ready for catfishing and striper fishing this fall. But what I want to do is show you what you actually get in the box. And also show you there's a little bit of assembly required when you get these planer boards. Uh, it's, it's no big deal. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to put them together when you get them, but there's a few things that you need to to do to you be able to use your uh, planer boards when you first get them. Uh, the reason they do that is so they can make a nice compact box to ship it to you. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. It'll be a short video, and uh, we'll show you the easy assembly of your uh, original clear boards when you get them in the mail. All right, the first thing that you're going to do when you get your box from the mail when it comes in is you're going to have a nice, uh, really nice, attractive box like this, okay? On the back of the box, there's really good instructions that tell you how to uh, use your planer board. So if you haven't watched any of the videos or the shows that we've done, um, you know, that myself and other people have done on the uh, original clear board, then uh, there's really easy instructions on the back. So let's open up the box and see what we got going on inside here. And they're packed really nice. And when you open up the box, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get a pair of uh, the original clear boards, okay? Now, these clear boards, uh, the planer boards, come in three different sizes, all right? This happens to be the middle size right here, and they make a larger one for uh, pulling a lot, you know, a lot more weight or, or larger baits. So uh, you just want to make sure when you order one that you get the one for your particular application. Now, I know you've probably seen us using the small, crappy, what I call the crappy planer boards. They're uh, about half this size again. They're just a nice, neat little planer board. They don't hardly weigh anything. And they were good for pulling small jigs and small minnows and things like that. But if you're going to start pulling plugs, you're going to you know, start uh, using weight of up to 2 to 3 ounces, you might want to go to this board, and then you might want to go to the much larger board if you're going to start you know, to use really big live bait, you know, a gizzard shad and um, things like that. Um, and you're gonna, you know, and then bigger boards, they'll, they'll, they'll troll really good up to about eight ounces of weight. So they're a real stout board. So, anyways, let's go ahead and when I show you the assembly on this board here, it's the same with all the boards. Are they all assembly? The the assembly is all the same. Okay. So let's get started, and you get a little package of things right here. All right, a little package of uh, uh, clips and your little bars that they have. Now everything in here is stainless steel, okay? Won't rust, and believe me, if you've seen BJ's demo on these where he runs over them with a truck, these planer boards are virtually undestructible. They won't bend like aluminum will or, or anything like that, and they're made out of a really a, a kind of a bulletproof, indestructible uh, piece of uh, plastic or something that they use, but um, um, they're they're really they're really indestructible. So let's go ahead and get this package opened up, and we'll show you how real how quickly you can assemble this thing. Okay, there's not many tools you're going to need to get started. Uh, basically, all what you could, only tool you're really going to need to have is a T10 Torx driver of some kind. Um, they have two little screws on the end right here, and them are for uh, to hold the rods, your extension rod, to the planer board, okay? So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to assemble that. Okay, like I was saying, you're going to need one, one tool. The only tool you're going to need probably is going to be a T10 Torx driver, okay? And if you don't know what a Torx driver looks like, it's a star driver like which you would have on most of your adjustments on your headlight lamps and things like that. And that's all it is. Um, it's almost like a Phillips screwdriver, but it has a, it's like a, a star driver or, or something like that. But anyways, you've got, in the package, you've got your two extension rods. And it comes with the split ring clip already on it. And it also comes with your line clip. 
Now these are the Scotty clips. They're a very good and very durable clip. And that's what the, uh, the guys there at the original clear board, that's what they put on them and that's what they use. And they're a really good clip. I really like them. They also are adjustable. They have an adjustment right here on this black piece here, which I will show you later. Also, you're going to get two other split rings right here. And, whoops, my tool's falling apart. And also, you're going to get a couple of, also, you're going to get a couple of, um, your line clips with a barrel swivel on them. Now all these uh, all this stuff you have here guys is stainless which means that you could even use this in salt water. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Now here's here's your clear board how it comes all right. Uh, it's all assembled the foam is, is already glued onto it and you've got two holes. I don't know if you can see these holes but you've got one hole right there Okay, that's where your line clip is going to go, and you have another small hole right here, and that's where your, your bar is going to go, which is going to be your extension arm where your clip is, okay? So what we're going to do first, and there's two washers, we're going to take the small screw off from the clip. The, uh, the extension arm and as you can see there's two little nylon washers so what you're going to do next is you want to make sure that you put your arm on the right side of the board your arm is always going to go on the side of the board uh, where the foam is okay get this in the camera there we go so it's going to go on this side with the foam not the other side the back side okay so what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we're going to put one washer on our screw okay we got one washer there and then we're going to have that on one side and then we're going to put our other washer on like i say this is really simple guys to put together and the only reason they send them like this it makes it easier for shipping and then you just go ahead and start to screw your arm on there and once it starts to get tight you want to position I like to position my clips so they're like this and not like that. If you put your clip on here like so, your line is not going to track in the water very good. So you want to make sure your clip is like that when you tighten it up, okay? And just hold your ring, turn it over, and just tighten up that screw. Now don't over tighten it, you're not going to break this okay but you could strip the um, the piece out inside there if you if you go too tight or something like that I wouldn't worry uh, about that so much because I've never pulled the piece in here that bolt to that out but there's no need to tighten that over tighten it just snug it up really good and snug and it'll stay like that for a long time okay so what you're gonna have when you're done your plane board sitting down like that away from you should look just like that with your split ring facing up and down on the on the planer board and your clip so it's horizontal to the planer board okay that's how you want it that way it will track in the water better and when you're pulling your line it's going to pull evenly with your line all right all right so now let's go ahead and we'll just put the other one together the same way once again I want to turn it upside down so you can see a little bit better. Uh, we got our washer, our nylon washer on one end right there. Put it through our hole. And we'll put the other washer on there just like so. Screw our rod in. And this is really simple, guys. It, it really is. Won't take you any time at all to do this. Go ahead and... Make sure your clip is set correctly. So it's just like that. And I'll hold on to the end of it. And then just snug that up. Really good and snug. Okay. And that'll do it. And that's basically what your, cli what your clips are going to look like. And what your board is going to look like. The one that's assembled and assembled correctly. Alright. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to take your clip. Now, you may need a knife to put this on if you've got fingernails or something like that. 
these clips you just open them up like so and stick it on there and feed it through that hole is all you need to do and just wind that clip through there like that okay and that's what you're going to have that be the that'll be the end product when you're done your clip will be there just like so and then all you need to do is go right ahead and put your barrel swivel with your with your line clip on there now what this actually does this clip right here now that's what you're going to have when it's done right there all right uh, and this is what it's going to look like let's you turn the board around this way maybe you can get a better shot of it there that's what it's going to look like you're going to this is the back of the board and this is going to be your front of your board right here okay and your board's going to track through the water just like so all right now um what this does right here is this actually when you get a fish on you're going to yank your rod and set the uh, trip the line out of this clip by doing so this board will slide all the way down the line and where you have your leader at you're going to have another barrel swivel and you're also going to have a bead down there which this clip will not go through and that way you're not going to be fighting the board on the line and like like some different products you know once you get your board up to where it's at you have to unclip it you don't have to do that with this you can fight it all the way to the fish and they're so light you don't even know they're on there all right guys that's what your assembled product is going to look like right there all right and you can see, you know, it took a little bit more time because I was trying to do a demo so everybody would understand it. A lot of you guys don't need a demo to put these things together. Some of you might, but you know, that's why I did this video. But anyhow, looking at the back of the boat, okay, uh, this is the way your boards are going to track in the water, okay? You're going to have this one here, which is going to be on the port side. Now, the camera's backwards, so it's probably the starboard side on the camera, but... Uh, looking the way I'm looking at the back of the boat on your port side is going to be this board your starboard side will be this board if you don't know you'll learn fast enough because you can't put the boards like this because then you'd have to go like that and that's not the way they go so anyhow that's the way your boards are going to be all right you're going to clip your line onto here First thing you're going to do is you're going to let out the amount of line you think you need uh, with your bait on there, whether it be a piece of cut bait or a piece of li or a live bait like a herring or a brim or something, uh, and you have a weight on there. You may want to go ahead and what I do is I'll let that prescribed amount of line out I want to have to achieve the depth that I want to be at where the fish are, okay? I'll let that out first. And when I get to that point, then I will go ahead and I will clip my, li my line onto the clip. Now this has an adjustment right here. And I know you've seen this before on some of the shows we've done with BJ. And by sliding that clip in and out, it makes the tension of that clip a little bit, a little bit harder for the line to come out, okay? I don't like it too hard, but I like to have the line so that the fish necessarily doesn't release the line on himself that way when i grab my rod and i release the line myself i'm also setting the hook a little bit so i run the clip in all right that may not be your preference if you're fishing for really really big stripers and you don't want that to trip too easily then you may want to put the uh that little adjustment the other way but Anyways, that's how you're going to fish them. Uh, and then at that point, what you'll do after you get everything set up here is you're going to go ahead and you're going to let your line out and let the planer board get out the distance from the boat you'd like to have it. Now, we like to try to run two planer boards on one side. So you're going to have two planer boards that are going to be, they're going to look like that when they're out there in the lake, okay? They're gonna be have what, if you had three or four, there'll be what BJ calls a classic stair step pattern, okay? And it looks just like a set of stair steps is what it looks like, but anyways, that's it guys. Like I said, the uh, clear board comes in three different sizes right now. 
that I know of. Uh, the 8, 9, and 10 and a half inch. The 8 inch is good for up to about 2 and a half ounces of weight. Maybe a little bit more you can get away with it. Just, but it just depends. It'll work really good for uh, herring up and shad up to about 4 inches or brim. Something like that. Uh, I like to use my smaller boards for crappy fishing because they work really good for uh, using small jigs, uh, small crankbaits, and uh, small minnows and things like that, and just dragging them across the tops of brush and stuff for crappies or white perch, whatever it is I might be looking for. So, and then you go up to the nine-inch board, which is this one, and that's good for about three three and a half to maybe four ounces of weight, 3.8 ounces of weight, somewhere in there. And you can use a much larger bait on this. You can use a bait that's almost the size of the board uh, on this particular board right here. It will hold a much bigger uh, weight and a much bigger bait. You know, they might want to use this, you know, for, for striper fishing, cat fishing, and things like that. And then if you want to go big, you want to go to the ten and a half inch board, and now you're talking a board that can, you know, uh, hold like a five and a quarter ounce weight, five and a half ounce weight, something like that. You can start to use uh, big bait like skipjack and things like that. Uh, big, big giant. I think you know we did a show with Tony Shepard where you see we used a big, big giant herring on one of them there. That the herring was like ten inches, and even though these boards. It sounds like the large, like a 10 inch board, they don't weigh anything. Uh, this board right here, it probably doesn't weigh probably more than three ounces, or three and a half ounces, something like that. So uh, the bigger boards, they're like uh, five ounces, I think, five and a half, six ounces, somewhere in there. So they're not a very heavy board at all. So there you have it, guys. That's the, um, that's the original clear board, okay? It's from uh, Trophy Ridge Planer Boards. You can check out, uh, go to www.trophyridgeplanerboards.com and check out the planer boards there. They come in pairs when you buy them. And uh, if you want to order them, go ahead and give BJ a call. Uh, you can order them online on the website, or you can go to Double X Tackle, and they're out in Colorado, and you can order them from Double X Tackle. So that's the uh, original clear board by Double X Tackle and Trophy Ridge Planer Boards. Thanks for watching this video, folks. I hope it uh, helped you uh, when you get your planer board to assemble it. Be sure to watch some of our videos and some of our shows where we actually use these boards out catching stripers and catfish. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and comment, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.